Hey guys, we're here with our IBA Season 3 Week 6 match taken on the Portland Crobats and their coach Aki VGC. Aki will definitely be down in the description below, so make sure you guys go check him out. Very good friend of mine, one of the best players in the format, hands down. Um, so absolutely make sure you guys go check out his stuff. But real quick, we will go over the team that he drafted this season, which is Mega Altaria, Jirachi, Garchomp, Volcarona, Toxapex, Cobalion, Silvali, Blissey, Lorantis, Yuxi, and Walrein, with Garchomp, Volcarona, and Cobalion being his Z users. It is also noteworthy that he has every single form of Silvali, so that is something to take note of. Uh, my team, if you did not know, is Mega Charizard X, Manaphy, Zerkatry, Decidueye, Skarmory, Donphan, Cresselia, Alolan Persian, Deontay, Swellow, and Hariyama, with Manaphy, Zerkatry, and Decidueye being my Z users. Um, looking at his team, if you guys know anything about me and my history in the format, it is that I have struggled against Cobalion historically. Most people realistically would probably be nervous about Jirachi, Garchomp, and Volcarona on his team. I'm nervous about Cobalion, and that's just because of my personal history with it. So I want to make sure I had something for it that could also handle um, a couple of other things on his team. So uh, we found that in Excalibur, our Skarmory, holding the leftovers with the ability Sturdy, has the moves Spikes, Whirlwind, Roost, and Brave Bird. With 252 HP, 76 defense, and 180 special defense with a bold nature. Uh, that special defense investment takes Fire Blast from Garchomp, at least one. And I can Whirlwind it out, uh, set up more spikes, roost up on it. Or uh, Brave Bird just for the sake of having an offensive move. Um, I could have brought Iron Head for the Altaria, but I didn't think that was super necessary. This also takes uh, Fire Blasts from the Altaria. If it decides to bring that. Um, Whirlwind and Spikes is going to be very useful. His team really struggles against Hazards. His removal options are Defog Altaria, Defog Silvali, and Defog Lorantis. Which, um, Altaria really struggles to bring Defog every single week. Uh, I don't think he, this particular week, if he does bring Altaria, it's going to have room to carry Defog. Um, Lorantis is really bad against my team. It's not a great mod in the first place. I'm pretty sure uh, Aki drafted it for the memes, so it's not a great mon, um, and it struggles against my team. So I don't think he'll bring it. So if he's going to bring Hazard Removal, I don't think it'll be Defog Silvali. Um, Silvali does provide him with a lot of different options uh, to bring. He can bring uh, every single type. Um, so looking at what he could possibly want, it could be... Um, he doesn't have a Ghost type on his team. He doesn't have an Electric type on his team. Uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? He doesn't have a rock type i guess <laughs> maybe it's rock i don't know uh, he could do a lot of different things with silvali um i tr i couldn't really prepare for it just because i find it very similar to mew except a little except much much worse than mew is that silvali does a lot of different things it's impossible to predict exactly what he's going to do with silvali so i just decided um to bring the best team i could for his other 10 and honestly hope it deals with silvali if silvali beats my team oh well um we learn from that experience i guess um so there's a lot of different things he could do with it, but if he does bring it, I think it'll carry Defog. Um, Spikes and Whirlwind is going to be very useful. We don't have uh, Rocks on Skarmory because we are carrying it on Deontay this week. Um, so yeah, that is our Skarmory set. The next thing on this team is Artemis, our Cresselia, holding the leftovers with the ability Levitate. Has the moves Thunder Wave, Psychic, Moonlight, and Shadow Ball. With 252 HP, 64 defense, 72 special attack, and 120 special defense with a calm nature. That um, special attack investment breaks uh, max HP Jirachi subs in case he decides to run that type of set. Um, Jirachi and Cresselia are kind of a, an interesting combination because neither neither Pokemon can really do much against the other. Um, I'm bringing Thunder Wave to slow down the Jirachi and minimize the amount of Iron Head hacks he can dish out. Um, if he's slow, he can't really do a whole lot. I believe if he's at 50%, the only things on this team he might outspeed are maybe uh, Skarmory. Definitely, I'm pretty sure he still outspeeds DNC. Maybe Skarmory and maybe this. If he's speedy enough. Um, but if he's slowed down, it tremendously minimizes the amount of bullshit that can come out of that Jirachi. Um, I am carrying Shadow Ball because I do have to respect the 1v1 versus Jirachi. I can't just bring Mono Psychic, although that is his only Psychic resist. Unless, of course, he brings, like, Silvali Dark, which I guess that would be an option, too. He doesn't have a Dark type, so uh, Silvali Dark could uh, absolutely come as well. Uh, Moonlight for Recovery. Um, and this thing is just meant to be bulky. The Special Defense Investment um, takes Bug Buzz from Volcarona. 
It deals with the Altaria, it deals with the Garchomp, it deals with the Cobalion. There's not a whole lot he could do to me. So this thing is, it does what Cresselia does. It is fat, and is fatter. <laughs> There's not much that to explain about Cresselia. Uh, the next mod on this team is going to be Hope Our Deonce, holding the leftovers with the ability to clear a body. Has the moves Moonblast, Stealth Rock, Earth Power, and Diamond Storm with 252 HP, 108 defense, and 148 special defense with a sassy nature. The uh, special defense, actually this overall investment is meant to take on Mega Altaria. Um, I don't have very good switches to Mega to an offensive like Dragon Dancing Mega Altaria, especially if he carries like a Dragon Dance mix set. Um, Moonblast does a good amount to him if he is more offensive. It does a not great amount, but de decent enough amount if he's a bulkier set. Um, this thing also sets up rocks on his team. Like I said earlier, his team really struggles with hazards. Um, rocks are basically a necessity because he does have that Volcarona. I need to minimize that thing's uh, usability. Um, Diamond Storm, again, for the Volcarona. The special defense investment also lets us take on Volcarona very comfortably, unless he brings something like HP Steel. We can take uh, one Giga Drain if he is set up, if we are at full, um, which hopefully he won't be set up. We're going to minimize that uh, the opportunity for him to set up. We do resist his dual stab, so that would be good. Um, Earth Power is because I have to respect the Jirachi switch-ins, as well as um, the likes of Toxapex, really. Um, Toxpec doesn't really care about Diamond Storms or Moonblast. Earth Power is, will probably do about 25-30% to 30 to it, um, but I, have to, I do have to respect that sort of thing. So uh, that is our Deontay set this week. The next mod on this team is Majesty, our Manaphy, holding the Waterium Z with the ability Hydration, has the moves Tail Glow, Surf, Ice Beam, and Psychic. With 252 Special Attack, 4 Special Defense, and 252 Speed, with the nature, that amount of Speed, Speed ties Volcarona and Jirachi. Um, I do need that just because max speed Volcarona is, I, I would think, semi-viable um, to speed tie with Manaphy, especially if he sets up and he guarantees the outspeed with Manaphy. Um, at plus three, his team really struggles against Manaphy. Um, Surf and Ice Beam deal with pretty much everything not named Toxapex, which is why we are carrying Psychic. Um, Blissey is obviously a pretty good switch into this as well, and depending on the type of Silvali, it could also be a good switch into this. Um, Surf, Waterium Z, I'm thinking just, I didn't want to predict his team because I think there's a lot of different things he could bring. Um, I don't think that there's a set six I'm predicting him to bring. So I didn't want to commit to a coverage Z move. I was just going to go with stab Z move and try to deal out as much damage as possible. Um, Ice Beam, obviously for the Altaria and the Garchomp. And uh, Surf hits everything. Oh, and the Lurantis if he does decide to bring that as well. And Surf is basically for the rest of his team. The only thing that this thing can't hit is Walrein, which, to be honest, I don't know how confident I am Walrein is coming. Um, so I'm less worried about it. Uh, the next mod on this team is Trickmaster, our Zerkatree. Holding the Shuckaberry with the ability Beast Boost, has the moves Thunderbolt, Hidden Power, Ice, Volt Switch, and Dazzling Gleam. With 24 HP, 252 Special Attack, and 232 Speed with Intimidator. That amount of speed outspeeds Maxi, Jolly, slash Timid, slash Naive, slash uh, Hasty, I think it is, plus Speed minus Defense. I think that's the one. Um, uh, basically, uh, as fast as it can get, Altaria. Um, I have to bring my electric type because I do have to respect the Toxapex. This thing is my obvious breaker to Toxapex. I am carrying the Shookaberry, uh, which allows me to take one Earthquake from Garchomp if it is not set up and Oko it back with Hidden Power Ice. Um, I didn't think Scarf was super necessary this week because if I can prevent the Volcarona from setting up, his team isn't that speedy. Um, and the things that this needs to beat, it doesn't need to outspeed. Um, so I didn't really think Scarf was necessary this week, so I decided to bring Shookaberry. We are carrying Volt Switch for the Pivoting, we are carrying Thunderbolt for the Stab, HP Ice for the Garchomp, Dazzling Gleam for the Altaria, those are his main, um, oh, excuse me, electric answers, he in addition has the Blissey, and of course if he brings Silvali Ground or Silvali Grass or something, um, and Lorantis does resist my electric stab, but we do have HP Ice, and like I already said, I don't think Lorantis is coming. Um, if Blissey comes, basically I, I, the only, like the main way I break the, is with Charizard and Hazard bullshit. Um, I need to play very carefully around Blissey if it does decide to come. The final mod on this team is going to be Alduin, our Charizard, holding the Charizard Idex with the ability Blaze. That will become Tough Claws once we Mega Evolve. Has the moves Fire Punch, Earthquake, Dragon Claw, and Dragon Dance. With 56 HP, 252 Attack, 4 Special Defense, and 196 Speed with an Adamant Nature. That amount of speed um, outspeeds Mega Altaria before popping a Dragon Dance. I felt like that was important. Um... I can't outspeed Garchomp. Jirachi and Volcarona, I could have gone max speed Jolly to outspeed, but I do want the Adamant Nature to uh, maximize my damage output. 
Fire Punch over Flare Blitz just because I want to minimize the amount of damage I'm taking with Charizard. Charizard will probably win this game late game if uh, something bad happens to Manaphy. Um, Earthquake so I can hit the Toxapex. Dragon Claw so I can hit the Garchomp. Earthquake does two hit KO most Altaria sets. If he is like super fat, it won't at plus one. I consider bringing Iron Tail, but at the same time, I feel like I needed the three coverage moves I have, and obviously Dragon Dance is basically why this set works. Um, I could have brought Iron Tail instead of maybe Dragon Claw, because I feel like I have enough answers to Garchomp offensively that it didn't need Charizard for it, but at the same time, Garchomp is just such a big threat, I didn't want to have to worry myself that if I do come in with Charizard that I can't beat it, uh, so yeah. Uh, that is the team we are going to be bringing for this Week 6 matchup against Aki. It, it will definitely be a very interesting match, and I will see you guys when that happens in just a second. Alright guys, here we are at the battle. The team he decided to bring is Volcarona, Mega Altaria, Jirachi, Garchomp, Walrein, and Silvali. Uh, very surprised to see Walrein. Uh, very happy to not see Toxapex and Cobalion, though. Um, so that's very exciting for me. Uh, we will have to identify what kind of Silvali this is probably pretty early on and uh, play around with uh, how we're <laughs> we're going to react to this sort of thing. Um, but looking at possible lead matchups, I think I just want to lead with Deancey because I feel like it's one of the safer-ish leads. Um, I can potentially scout if he does leave Garchomp and I can go into Skarmory or Cresselia um, predicting an Earthquake. If he does lead... Uh, Jirachi, we can go into Cresselia, we can go into Skarmory. We have a couple of answers to the things that he could lead with that beat Deonsi, and I just want to get my rocks up as quickly as possible. Um, see if he did indeed bring the Defog on either Altaria or Silvali and force him to get rid of my hazards. So we are going to do just that. He's going to lead off with his Garchomp as we lead off with our Deonsi. Now, obviously, I don't want to take an Earthquake, so I'm going to go ahead and go straight into uh, Skarmory, predicting the Ground-type move which uh, obviously does absolutely nothing to a flying type like Skarmory, and um, wanting to scout if he had a fire Z-move. Garchomp is one of his Z-users, and a fire Z-move isn't completely out of the question. I'm going to go back into Deancey and try to scout that. Um, he does click regular Fire Blast and does reveal to be Life Orb, so uh, we got kind of half of that prediction right, but uh, we do scout to reveal that Garchomp is not his Z-mom, so if he has a Z-user, it's going to be Volcarona. I'm going to go ahead and go into Cresselia, as it's a pretty safe, uh, safe switch. As he decides to click Toxic, very good play on his part, that will start whittling down my Cresselia. Uh, predicting him to want to go out into Jirachi as it is his obvious psychic type answer, I'm going to go ahead and click Thunder Wave and minimize uh, the bullshit that this Jirachi can accomplish. I'm going to go ahead and go into my Skarmory because this is a pretty safe switch into Jirachi and I could possibly start setting up spikes, but he's going to go into his Silvali, which will reveal to be um, Silvali Electric. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I don't want to stay in, so I'm going to go into my Zerka Tree. I see parting shots out into his Altaria, and I'm just going to go ahead and Volt Switch out. Get some nice chip damage on the Altaria. We do crit. It's not an ult that won't ultimately make a difference. You guys will see. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and go into my Deancey, which is my Altaria check, and I can finally start setting up my hazards. Um, so figuring I scare him out with a Moonblast, I'm going to go ahead and click uh, Rocks. Get on my Rocks as he decides to go out into his Garchomp, and obviously this thing threatens me out with an Earthquake. I don't want to take it on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and go out into... Uh, my Cresselia, figuring I can take an Earthquake as he sets up his rocks of his own, uh, which is fine. I don't have Hazard Removal, but if he has Hazard Removal, it's Defog, so it will get rid of the rocks on my side as well. Um, he clicks Earthquake, over-predicting me to go out into something else, as I click Shadow Ball, over-predicting him to go out into Jirachi. Um, <laughs> it's a very interesting play, uh, but it gets even better because it happens one more time as well. Um, I really want this Jirachi to come in. I'm really expecting it to. I do get a Spit F drop on the... Um, Garchomp and figuring that this is probably when Jirachi is going to come in. I'm going to go ahead and click Shadow Ball because he doesn't want to take another hit after the uh, special defense drop, but he decides to go out into his Silvali, which takes that absolutely no problem. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, try to play around with this Silvali, see if I can figure out more about it. I'm going to go ahead and just Moonlight up and scout with, to see what he wants to do. He does click Thunderbolt, so he obviously has some sort of special variant. He is bringing Thunderbolt very specifically instead of multi attack. Um, so I think I could deal with this thing with Deancey as he clicks Thunderbolts again, which is no problem. And I'm going to go ahead and click Earth Power and try to get some damage off on the Silvali. The Jirachi is the obvious switch into this as well. So that'll be some good ship on the Jirachi as well. As we do click Earth Power and he does go into Jirachi and it does about a little over 25% to it, which is perfect. Um, he has leftovers. I don't know if we revealed that earlier, but this is probably when I noticed that he has leftovers. So I know he's more of a bulkier Jirachi set. As he decides to click Wish, and uh, honestly, not expecting him to want to switch out and him just want to stay in and get some more health on his Jirachi, I'm just going to go ahead and start setting up my spikes. 
force him to defog away eventually um, as he goes into Silvalli and will go back up to full health with that wish. So good play on his part. Um, his Silvalli is up to an optimal amount of health right now. I'm going to go ahead and go into my Cresselia. Again, just trying to bulk out and see what uh, uh, reveal more about this Silvalli set. And obviously, I don't want to take a Thunderbolt um, as he just dis does decide to reveal the uh, defog. It defogs away all the hazards, which does get rid of him on my side as well. Um, he's just going to go ahead and click Thunderbolts again as I'm going to go ahead and Moonlight and get back to up to a decent chunk of health. Um, again, I'm still trying to figure out what exactly is carrying on the Silvalli. I want to figure out that fourth move to figure out how I can beat it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and Moonlight out. Um, but Toxic is getting to be too much of an issue, and I don't want to stay in for too long, and I'm actually going to go out and do my DNC, which is pretty specially defensive and can handle this thing. As he clicks Parting Shot, and Parting Shot actually does fail because of my ability Clear Body. Um, we both found this out during the game that actually Parting Shot does uh, prevent you from switching out as well. Uh, which neither of us knew, so that's a little fun fact. He's going to go ahead and click Thunderbolt, as I'm just going to go ahead and set my rocks back up. As he clicks Thunderbolt one more time and uh, starts dealing some more damage out to this uh, DNC. I'm going to click Earth Power and start getting some chip damage onto this Silvali. If he wants to go out into Jirachi as well, that would be nice. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep on clicking Thunderbolt. Or he keeps, keeps on clicking Thunderbolt as I keep on clicking Earth Power. As I do get a special defense drop. Um, this is a pretty important play. And I'm actually going to pause it right here. So, um, figuring that last time he went into Jirachi. And knowing Aki... I've known him for a while now. I figured he would want to make an offensive pivot move, figuring I would Earth Power again, predicting Jirachi to come in. The obvious one here would be Garchomp, because we've I've revealed earlier that Garchomp scares me out. I can't take an Earthquake. So I'm going to actually go ahead and click Moonblast, predicting the uh, Garchomp to come in. And that is exactly what happens, and Garchomp is going to go down. So that's a huge offensive presence off his team, which is great for us. Um, <laughs> that's actually excellent news for us. He's going to go into his Jirachi. And I don't want to take an Iron Head, I don't want to take any kind of Steel move, so I'm just going to go ahead and go into my Skarmory, which I felt was the safest play. He does decide to Wish up, and I figured he's going to try to do the same exact thing he did last time, which is try to get a Wish Pass off into his Silvalli, so I'm not going to let that happen. I'm actually going to click Whirlwind here, predicting him to go out into Silvalli, and he can get the Wish onto something else, which does go right back into Jirachi. Um, so that worked out very nicely. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and start setting up Spikes. Um, because I don't think he would make the same play again. I'm just going to go ahead and click uh, one layer of spikes as he goes back into the Silvalli. And I don't want to risk him going for an electric type move, but I figured he would defog. But still, at the same time, I felt like the safe play here was to go into Zerkatry and pivot out. I'm bluffing the Scarf a little bit here. Um, trying to make, keep him guessing about what item I am. So I'm just going to go ahead and Volt Switch out as he goes into his Altaria. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my Deancey and set my rocks right back up. Um, he's going to go ahead and switch out into his Silvalli. I'm assuming to get rid of the predicted rocks, which is perfectly fine. Um, so he will defog away the rocks, and I'm just going to go ahead and click Diamond Storm, which will ultimately take out the Silvalli. <coughs> I'm running out of breath here, guys. This is a very long match. Um, so I click Diamond Storm here, figuring I could possibly get defense boosts and play around with that. Um, knowing that any move I click would kill. As he defogs away my rocks, as it goes into his wall rain. Click Super Fang. I wanted to scout what this thing would do. According to my calcs, I could live Surf unless he was super invested. So, And I want my rocks back up, so I'm going to go ahead and click Rocks. As he clicks uh, Super Fang, which does about 25% to me because I am already at 50% health. As he encores me back into uh, rocks. So good play on his part. I'm forced to switch out. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my Zerkatry, figuring I would uh, scare this thing out offensively. And I can click Volt Switch, but he does uh, stay in. Volt Switch does about 50% to me, which reveals he's a max HP, maybe not quite all the way special defensive. Um, but I know a Thunderbolt will kill it if I can minimize the amount of leftovers recovery he gets. So I'm going to go into Skarmory and start setting up my spikes and figuring out what this Wall Rain wants to do against me. He clicks Ice Beam. That does a good chunk to me. And based on the Calyx from my Skarmory set, I know that Zerkatry can live one. Um, figuring he would maybe want to encore me into continuing to set up my spikes. I'm going to go into my Zerkatry, but worst case scenario, I can live an Ice Beam if he goes for it, which is exactly what happens. And I'm going to go ahead and click Thunderbolt, which is enough to take out this Wall Rain. So Wall Rain will go down. We are up 6-3, looking very good for us. Um, as he goes out into his Jirachi. And um, unfortunately, I think it's about time I reveal that I'm not Scarf, and I'm going to go ahead and click Volt Switch. Shook is not going to save me at this point, so it's no big deal. I'm going to Volt Switch out on the Jirachi and go into my Skarmory. And, uh see what we can do. I figured he was probably sp pretty specially defensive based on my earth power calcs. So I knew he would take a thunderbolt and I didn't want to risk losing my uh, Zerkatry that early. So I'm going to go into Skarmory, figuring I can take any hit and I can roost off the damage. And he decides to go into his Mega Altaria. 
Now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and start setting up spikes and trying to figure out what this uh, Altaria wants to do, and that's actually not true. I'm actually going to whirlwind him out as he roosts, so Altaria is at an optimal amount of health, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and click spikes because uh, I already re we already revealed that Skarm or, uh, not Skarmory, Jirachi can't really touch Skarmory, so I'm just going to set up another layer of spikes and start getting some more chip damage as he decides to switch around his team. He brings in the Volcarona. I do not want this thing to set up a Quiver Dance, so it's about time I sack off Skarmory. I click Brave Bird just in case he decides to set up, but he does decide to just kill me with a Fire Blast. Uh, which is no problem, because this is a good opportunity to bring in my Charizard and on turn 44, finally pop our Mega Evolution. And I'm going to click Dragon Dance, um, knowing that no one hit he has can kill me. And if he has Roost, a plus one Fire Punch will kill him. He decides to pop his Z-Move, which he does reveal to be Savage Spin Out uh, Z-Bug. Assuming Z-Bug Buzz, um, as I click Dragon Dance, which does about 50% to me, and I'm able to knock him out with a Fire Punch on the next turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click Earthquake here. It is the strongest move I ha would have against this Altari, and I'm going to go ahead and gauge the damage. Um, at plus one, it's not doing a whole lot, <laughs> so he's probably very, very, very physically bulky. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, click Earthquake. It's, he's just going to roost off that damage. Now, I obviously don't want to stay in because I'm losing this match one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go into my Zerka Tree, figuring he wants to roost up again, and I could start getting off some Dazzling Gleams. If I can weaken this thing enough, I can uh, basically force him, myself into a position where Manaphy wins, uh, which is exactly what happens. He does go down to about 25%, um, which, based on my calcs, even if he was Max Max Spadef, uh, a regular Ice Beam will kill it from Manaphy. So we do click Ice Beam, Altaria is going to go down, and all that's left is this Jirachi, which is going to come in on 3% after Rocks and Spikes. And I'm just going to go ahead and pop my Z-move, there's no reason not to really, um, and I'm able to take out this Jirachi with a Hydro Vortex. So, we do uh, come out this game with a 4-0 victory over the Portland Crobats and their coach Aki VGC. A uh, very good match, honestly. It was actually one of my favorite matches I've had this season. Uh, me and Aki were talking during the game, it was honestly very fun. I actually had a really good time. It, I felt like this match was a success, and things worked out nicely the way I wanted them to. Um, so, very good game to Aki. Absolutely one of the best battlers in the format. Um, as I said in the beginning of the video, make sure you guys go check him out. Uh, definitely you would learn a thing or two from him. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Next week for week 7, we do take on Omega Jolteon and his Chicago Caracostas, which uh, I'm looking for some vengeance after my NPL match, which I might be uploading eventually. Uh, but after that NPL match, I'm looking for some vengeance against him. So uh, very, very match, very match, very exciting match. I am looking forward to it. So anyways, that is going to be it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.